Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early back again today with that video that I told you about from um, the pop-up card 3D die. So, this set is so cute and it's so fun to work with if you have all the parts and pieces. That's the key, making sure that you have enough variety to do some stuff. So, you have to really invest in or have some of these background dies. This is the one that came with it, and this is the other one that came with it, and they are the cutest ever. So if you have these background dies, you can cut them out like this. This is what I did. I followed that one somewhat, and that's that die. So the, um, the all I did was I took this die, and I die cut it out just like that. That's just as simple as what I did. I took some black paper and I cut out the, the shadow layer and some white paper to cut out the um, white part of the hello. This is what I need to do. And I waited to so, so I could show everybody this portion. How do you get this thing on the card? Because it seems a little daunting. So I want to see if it's really daunting. So what you do is you take a five and a half by four and a quarter, which is all a half is a, is a half sheet of paper. Is what they're telling you that per the instructions in this little book that that they, that comes with it. And <clears throat> I would like to applaud companies now that's including instruction guides because we'll get these things home and don't have a clue how to use them and you can't do nothing about it because you done bought it but you, you don't know how and unless somebody does a video or something we were stuck so i'm really happy that we now have backing you up a little bit some instruction guides so then all you do is score at four and a quarter to make your card base and it's just a simple card base that we use all the time right so here's my card base and here's my little card panel i didn't really do too much on this because i, I really just wanted to show you the technique not show you what to do so oh, let me show you this before i put this in this card so you get this piece then the instructions tell you to fold this in half so you have to Fold this in half and be careful not to damage the delicate cuts. Then you score on those score lines. And you'll see the score lines. You score on that score line going that way and this way. The good thing about this die, this die actually makes a gatefold also. So if you don't put this panel in, you can have a, a quick gatefold card. It'll be a little bit shorter than the regular, but you'll still have a gatefold, okay? So then, in order to get this in here, you have to stretch this out and put it in position where it needs to go. It's already matted to the four and a quarter by five and a half normal die cutting space. See that? It's already at that it's already there. So it already fits in the four and a quarter by five and a half card base situation, right? So then all you have to do is pull this panel apart. Use your wet glue if you like. I use my uh, tape glide, whatever this thing is, my tape gun. And... Flip this right into place. See that? Go right into place on that side. Flip this one over. In the process, I'm making sure that my crease lines are creased really well. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure none of your tape gets on anything else. And flip that up. And tape that down. 
Now, <clears throat> because you crease this piece in the middle, it folds up perfectly. Just like that. And then I just take my bone folder or my scoring tool. And there you go. Make sure that your lines are creased. And I, I have several of these bone folders. Not this style. I have this one. And I have this one. But I found that the Teflon one, that one, doesn't leave marks. And so that's why I like it. It doesn't leave marks. So now here is your card and that is what that resembles and then you just decorate the front of your card the way you normally do and you can put decorations on this side and in here which is the next example i want to give you so we have that one that one then we have this one so if you notice my shape looks different than the two i showed you it's because i did have a background dye that I could use and so I found it and I used it so what you do is you you do the same thing you cut out your designs you score it fold it in half just like that make sure that your score lines are scored and what I did differently in this one is I decided to color a design I scored it in half I fussy cut this out it was quick I fussy cut this out, but I left a little opening, so I didn't glue it all the way down. You know, I didn't glue it all the way down. I just left it, I glued a little bit, a little bit enough to leave some openings. And that'll make a difference when you see it in a minute. Um, then you take your piece and do the same thing. You take it and you just put it down to where it goes. I'm just moving it down so I can see where it goes. And so this is a die I had. I want to say this is an old Spellbinders die that I had. But it works perfectly for this card because it's just a card base. And it works perfectly for what I'm trying to do with this. Love it, love it, love it. So do the same thing. Make sure that you, you are scored really well. Put your tape on. Whoa. Put your tape on. And put it into place. Just like that. And repeat on the other side. Just like that. And so with those little pieces, it's easier for that. Remember I told you that I left these up? It kind of gives it not as, um, it gives it some give and not let that card base be stuck down. And so it kind of moves with my card base. But this one lays flat once again, just like that. Take your bone folder. Scoring two, whatever you have, and score it really good. Make sure you have good creases in everything, just like that. And your card is done. And don't forget to decorate the outside because this is just the inside. Decorate your outside. You can do that. Um, like get your direct decorations all together on a base, a, a card front. And then as soon as you're done with your inside, put that right on. Or it depends on how dimensional. You don't want to put your card front on first. Because if you put your card front on first, it'll be difficult sometimes to get that together to work. So make sure that you are careful with that, okay? And so next, what I wanted to show you, which I always try to have some kind of technique or tool to give you when I'm doing these um this type of thing <clears throat> is and oh the design the the next one that i'm going to use is from this anna griffin valentine's confetti die kit we all I, I don't i don't know they sold out so a lot of people got these 
um, she had these confetti dies that went with her shaker card system. And I got the, the auto ship from HSN. And it must have been like two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Several years ago that they had this auto ship. It must have been about two years ago, I would say. I don't know. But it had a lot of them. It had every single genre of a thing going on. Like, I have a special bag that I keep them in because they fall out. <laughs> mm, let's see if I can give you a quick preview of this. Of some of them. So, see, we have a... This is the Valentine's Day version. What is this one? Um, oh, no, that's just the regular. So, I have this in my old Totally Tiffany's bag. Well, it's... It's a totally Tiffany's bag. And then this one came with this uh, set with the hearts and the lips for Valentine's Day. And these are all background dyes. This is that background dye that I just showed you. Right? This one. Oh, these are the pieces that came out of the design I'm getting ready to show you. So hold on to these because this is a shaker card these are shaker cards. So this one is was the Mother's Day set with a cup of tea. It shouldn't be floating around. It should be in here. Then we have butterflies and bunnies. These are bunnies that we have for Easter. And this is the little kit. This is where the shaker kit came from. This is Windows Cutting Dies 2. The shaker. This is the second one. So it have the butterfly, it has like a little note, it has the Easter, and it has the clover. That's that. And then it, this one right here is the set, uh, set three with the cupcake, the teacup, the baby, the pumpkin. Uh, well, that's another cupcake. Oh, yeah, it's these three. These three came in here. And it tells you how to make the shakers. But what I used, and see, that's the big shaker butterfly. That's what that is. This should be in here. And that's the big cupcake. And the, this is another one of the shaker. It's the balloons. So it kind of reminds you of the one she did. And then this is the onesie. And these are all the dies that go along with that set. And then I'm going to be doing a series called Shake It All, Shake Em Up Baby. And it's going to be all shaker cards. And these are all the dies that go with that. And this is the shaker stuff. And so this is the shaker stuff that goes all with this. Um, and so, see, I also have this Christmas set that has the Christmas tree, the present, and the ornament. And so all of these came with these shaker dies. These, these dies, they have poinsettia, the Christmas tree, and the snowflake. And I think I have one more. Um, and this is all the auto ship. No, this is that purse die. Which I'll do a one on that purse die too. But not right now. Okay, so all of this got to go back into its envelope. To keep it all together. Because I spilled the sequence all over my floor earlier today. That was brilliant. Okay, so all of this goes back into this container. Right, so my little Tony Tiffany bag I use just for this. So, and so if you purchase that, you'll be able to do what I'm gonna do next. What I'm gonna to show you next is this design. I did it my way, <laughs> right? So, let's see how I did it my way. I took this card base. Let's put, let's put these over here out the way. You know, I always I like to clean up as I go so I don't have to clean up later. The cleanup is the hardest. Okay, so this right here is a, by measurement, 5 by 7 card base. If you can see, it's 5 by 7. Just a 5 by 7 card base. Just like Stephanie Bernard said, Create your base, four and a quarter by five and a half. This one is a seven by ten to make the card base, right? So, I got my card base. Now I have to make the inner part to make this work, right? So, what I did was I took a 
sheet of paper and I made my own my own template. This is nine and a quarter by six and a half. Because those dies, those Anna Griffin dies I just showed you was too big to go into A2 and I still wanted to use them, I made an A set and a five by seven version. So what I did was I took I cut this card out, this this sheet of paper, I cut it out to that dimension, the nine and a quarter by six and a half, which mats on this piece of paper or this card base. Then I centered my design in here. So my, my little Valentine's Day hearts centered in here perfectly. Right? So then I took my scoreboard, my little bitty mini scoreboard, and I scored it at two and a half. Um, yeah, two and a half. It does not make a complete gatefold like the other one, but if you want to, you can cut your paper a little bit bigger. I did not want to do that. I wanted to cut it so it would mat perfectly into my paper, which I could have made this a nine and a half instead of nine and a quarter and then scored it and it'll, it'll have been that little extra would have butted up, but I really didn't care about that part. Um, so now I scored it at two and a half on this side. I mean, two and a, two and a quarter on this side, two and a quarter on this side and two and a quarter on this side. You can score it at two and an eighth and it'll get it closer, but it doesn't really matter. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to do. It's kind of like you got to try to do things to help your own crafty ability. So I took this and I folded it in half just like she showed us. Just like, just like she showed us. I fold that in half. And I made sure I was careful with my bone folder. That's why it's good to use a Teflon bone folder because it doesn't leave scars. And I folded it and creased it. Then I did the same thing with my sides, just like this. Same thing. Then you take this and you fit it in here. That If you want it to be a little longer, this will be a little small, uh, less. But I wanted mine to be pretty much um, almost a square. So I could have put another eighth on it. It doesn't matter. However long you want it is what you should have, right? So then now you do the same exact thing. You make sure that you have a good score mark and you tape it down. So all I'm going to do is the same exact thing. And you can do this with any card base. You could take this same design, pull out your Cricut machine, and do this too. And voila, you have different designs that you can cut into your card base. Just like that. You just have to know where to put the score lines at where to put your little design at, that it'll be centered and fold it down. Voila. One thing you must know that if when you're making these, you can't make the center part wider than the outer pieces. Why? Because when you fold it, the center part will be sticking out here. So see, I made that part. This folds in perfectly. And now we have a five by seven card base made from in the same way that Stephanie Bernard did with that lovely 3D. And now I have a pop-up card. Guess what? I didn't do anything different than the pop-up cards people do all the time. I just showed you how to do it with a five by seven base. And I know that somewhere out there, Someone's already done this. This is nothing new. I'm just giving you my take on what I see. And so here you go with my measurements. 
you could use your own measurements to make this easier for you make it closer not so much room like i did however just go about and decorate and give the card to somebody and let them know that you love them or at least like them and want to give them a card <laughs> so there we go with our 3d pop-up and so my next video i will be coming to you with the other die that i got today but that's going to take a little time to make i need rubber bands and all kinds of stuff for that that's this one right here the pop-up confetti die so i'm going to work on this one um i'll put a couple of them together and then i'll come with you with the example um, but I have to wait for the pop-up box part to come because I'm not going to sit and trace and cut out no box. I will wait for my other pieces to come. And as soon as the other pieces to come, I will do this. And, but I'll start working on making the boxes so I can show you the little pop-up boxes. And this is the one that my husband really likes. He cracked up when he seen it. So, all right. Thank you so much for allowing me to come into your space. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.